Okay, today I'm going to show about how we can use our kits with the Adafruit Cricut. We've got the micro bit and we've got these Lego mechanical pieces. Where do we get the pieces and parts to make this car and how do we control it? We've got both the Cricut for micro bit and we've got the Cricut for Circuit Playground Express. I'll show you where to get these. They're built on base plates that have been cut out and then bolted on. The Cricut is bolted onto the base plate. The base plate then allows us to attach the wheel motors. Where do we get these pieces and parts? Here's the base plate. It comes from a local Dollar Tree store. Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. The app that I'm showing you that we're using is called BST MBIT, Yaboom Technology MBIT app. Downloadable onto mobile devices. Here's the icon you'll see on your phone or your tablet. Both IO iOS, Apple, and also Android. In this case, it's a Samsung phone. The Cricut can be purchased from Amazon or other stores online or directly from the manufacturer, which is Adafruit in New York City. This page, adafruit.com, category 996, shows you the Cricut. The motors, this is a key issue. These motors are made to fit onto Lego mechanical parts, Lego Technics. The whole size and the spacing fits the chassis, the space plate, and the pins that hold the motor onto the base plate. We're using a different system than what Adafruit uses. They 3D print their rover parts. We use Lego compatible parts. For example, this base plate, which I cut to fit. The key point on this when you're looking for the parts is this hub right here, X hub or plus hub. This fits directly onto the motor. So we do not need to 3D print some kind of motor housing the motor can fit onto these pins and the spacing of these mechanical parts, these Lego Technic compatible parts. I found these parts on AliExpress and on eBay and on Amazon. This just gives you an idea of what you're looking for to build this kind of a car. Now, I went to eBay and I found kits of pre-owned mechanical or Lego compatible parts. This is one brand of many. There are many different brands that have mechanical Technics parts that are compatible with Lego. That means they'll fit on this base plate. They'll fit our wheels. You can see right here, always look for a wheel that has that plus hub because that will fit the motor. And that tells you that all these other pieces are Lego compatible. That's what we're looking for. Oftentimes these, when I look for pre-owned or used kits that are Lego Technics mechanical kits, they will come in, in this case it says new, but often they come in a box that's been damaged. 
So they're listed as pre-owned, even though the packages inside have not been opened. So there are lots of these kits, parts. This is called a five by seven. It's very useful because it has holes on the sides and in front. So therefore we can add something like that. These I bought 50 in a batch off AliExpress. Here's a example of the micro bit, the BBC micro bit controller that works with this app. It's available for sale at many sellers on the internet. There are millions of these BBC micro bits that have been sold and are used for education in schools all over the, the world. We're using version two, which has these notches. And it says version, we don't want version one because this app won't work as well. So there'll be more about all this. This video is just to show you where we get our parts, what we're looking for. We're looking for a plus hole in the hub of the wheel that will fit this motor and the motor then fits the base plate. And on the base plate, we can add, we can bolt on the cricket and add the micro bit. And then we'll be able to build out an unlimited shape and size of this Rover kit. There'll be more.